Mr. Speaker, I rise today to recognize Rabbi Rami Kohn, a leader on Staten Island and a dear, dear friend. Rabbi Kohn has dedicated his life to Jewish culture and heritage and built a renowned career as a moil in New York City for over 25 years. I'm especially honored to welcome Rabbi Kohn this week as we remember the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. Rabbi Kohn's career is merely a continuation of a lifetime of fighting for the Jewish faith. His early life was uprooted by the rise of the Nazi party, their invasion of Czechoslovakia and the outbreak of World War II. Under Nazi rule, he saw the Hitler youth attack his father in the street. When war broke out, he joined the partisans fighting Nazi tyranny. At 15 years old, Rami was the youngest member of the Czechoslovakian partisan forces. Among other feats, he helped save 56 Jewish families escape the horrors of the Holocaust. He fought with the partisans until the end of the war and then went in search of his own family. Of his parents and six siblings, only his father and two sisters had survived. Rabbi Cohn saw how a democracy can be corrupted into a fascist dictatorship and what happens when anti-Semitism is allowed to fester. Sadly, across this country, we see alarming increases, an alarming rise in anti-Semitism and ha hatred. Rabbi Cohn's legacy reminds us never to accept bigotry, not when we see it in the street, not when we see it in the halls of Congress, not when we see it anywhere. Our freedoms are not free. We must fight for them or risk losing them. Rabbi Cohn is a model, an example for all of us to follow. And I thank him for his extraordinary life of service. Thank you. The chair will entertain up to 15